hello everyone and welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to go through Digimap website so if you are a student in the UK you can benefit from this website for educational aims for your research project or something like that you will have access to a wide range of geospatial data that you can deal with and benefit from like coordinate survey maps and data you have geological data, environmental data, aerial images, LiDAR data, etc. This is designed for education guys. Because of that, you have first to register using your university email address so that you can access this website and benefit from the services available. So now let's go to the website guys to have a look at some of the data available how to deal with them how to download them so I will use Google to do a search I will search directly Digimap just I will write down Digimap here guys and then here I I can see the Digimap here just click here you will have the first result Digimap Edina AC UK okay this is supported by Edinburgh University in fact now this is the website here you, as you can see guys first as I mentioned you need to log in I will try to log in now here the top right you have this login just click here and then you would be transferred to the login page on this page guys start typing the name of your organization so what is your university your school so you write it down here for example I work for Liverpool John Morse University here you can pick Liverpool John Morse University in my case I will get this and then continue and here my signing in data using my username and password here we go I'm inside now this is my name Ziad uh, as you can see here so and I logged in successfully to the website as you can see guys a lot of data we have ordnance survey data historical maps geological maps environmental data aerial images lidar data global society a lot of data so let's go to the ordnance survey for example you have here a lot of information about the data available how to get started how to deal with them how to log in the applications a lot of details in fact on the Digimap website you can find a lot of tutorials as well how to download data how to deal with data and more importantly how to cite this data if you use this data for your project guys you need to cite the data and they have explained all of these requirements on their website and also they have run a couple of webinars as well so here you can roam through the data if you would like to download kind of data for your project you can go to here let's see what we if we would need to download something this is here as you know the UK first we are going to locate the area of our interest guys if you know the coordinates of your data you can just directly use coordinates from here if you go to the top left use coordinates directly you can write the coordinates of this point here the top right and bottom left easting and northing for each point of these two points just enter the easting and here northing here easting here northing here and then you will directly locate your data or just you can navigate to the area of your interest for example I'm interested in some area here in Liverpool I will go here for example and then just to draw as you can see here draw guys here top left I'm here now draw I will draw a rectangle for my area of interest for example this is my area of interest let's say this is the area of my interest 
and then now I can see different kinds of available data here select data products guys I will go here for example OS master map OS4 Odin survey of course we will go here we have topographical data building heights and so on you will pick whatever you need for your work or your project here we have highways roads paths we have down here also we have maps master map 1 to 1000 raster map okay very interesting 1 to 2000 raster map okay 1 to 25,000 raster map a lot of data available in fact which is very helpful for any research project related to geospatial engineering so if you aim to download any of these maps just tick the map for example if I would like to download this one I will take this one here guys and then I will add it to the basket for example here and then I will request download from here guys for now I will not request this download just I wanted to let you see that we have a lot of maps a lot of data here available these are raster maps most of them raster here guys if you would like to deal with vector data you have here as you can see here a lot of vector data as well land and height okay ordnance survey terrain five contours ordnance survey DTM etc and here I have as well a lot of vector data here for roads rivers so all of these maps all of these data available under ordnance survey so let's go back now guys to the main page of the website we have also historical maps as I mentioned let's go now to for example if you aim to download some LiDAR data if you would like for example to go to data downloads here let's go to our area here for example the same guys to to download any kind of data you navigate or you enter the coordinates or select the visible area here so here guys I would like to draw an area for example I will use this polygon to draw some area different shape for example if I'm interested in this area I will locate my area and then this is my area of interest in this case now I'm going to go down here the, under products guys I'm going to find out what kind of LiDAR data available so we have a digital terrain model and we have here digital surface model and you know that the difference between DTM digital terrain model and DSM digital surface model is that the DTM represents the bare earth the terrain just without any feature just the ground elevation without any feature on it whereas the digital surface model includes all the features on the ground like the trees buildings etc so and of course if you would like to change your area of interest to delete it you can delete your area from here and then you can draw a new area for example I will pick a small area here and I will zoom so lidar data guys as you can see here the resolution is very high resolution we have 25 centimeters for some areas 50 centimeters for some areas one meter here okay two meters here so you need to pick a small area so that you would be able to download the data because if you pick large areas so the size of data would be very big and also there is a limit I think on this uh, website for downloading the data okay but for us as students for research aims you can pick a small area to work on for example let me delete this one let me draw for example an area here I will pick this area for example from here to here this is my area of interest now I will see here in the data products what I have I have here guys as you can see here we started from England 25 centimeters 0 out of 200 I don't have any LiDAR data with a resolution of 25 centimeters to cover my area of interest this one 0 here and also here I don't have any data in England 50 centimeters to cover my area of interest so I will go down here 
I have here two tiles guys to cover my area with a resolution of one meter so I found here guys I will take this now I found here two tiles to cover this area of my interest and then if you go down you have also two tiles with a resolution of two meters to cover your study area okay so I take one okay for example I aim to collect one meter resolution DTM in this case don't forget we are under DTM digital terrain model so I have this DTM and then if you would like to collect some DSM for the same area to compare or to do any kind of work you can go to the DSM for example as you can see here the same I have two tiles here to cover my area okay with a resolution of one meter okay and let's go down here guys we have different kinds of data we have digital surface models by year we have point clouds as well we have true color aerial photography near infrared data etc okay so let's say that we have just ticked what we want and then we are going to add to add this tile that we ticked to the basket from here with the bottom guys add to basket I will add them now now I have them both because as, as you remember I've ticked DTM and DSM so I have them both here guys if you if you change mind you'd like to remove them you can just here delete them from here if you'd like to request them just you can request download from here if these are related to a specific project if you'd like to download a lot of data not to mix them all together you can give them a name Liverpool project for example now I will try to request this data to see what is the next step I will click request data now and I have the message now thank you an email will be sent to confirm it has been received so they will send an email to my university email address and then from there I can download the data and then a further email will be sent once the order is ready for download and now I will go to my email address to see when I receive the download link to start downloading the data okay guys I have looked into my email address now as you can see here I have received this email from them okay confirming my uh, request for download and here they have provided some video which is very helpful in fact they have updated their drawing tools and some services which is very important and useful for us as students this is the first email this is just a confirmation that I requested some data but I haven't received the link to download my data yet now I will wait a couple of minutes and then I will return back to you okay now this is the second email guys I have just received a new email here if you go down here this is download your data from here just you can click here to download your data I would go ahead and try to download this data okay here we go this is my project ready to download the size of it is 6.5 megabyte I will download it now it's been downloaded here guys as you can see it is a zipped file you need to extract this folder before you would be able to use the data so this folder is downloaded in downloads folder here I will try to extract this this is my folder now guys here I will try now to display this kind of data using ArcGIS software so using ArcMap for example now let's add this data this is my folder guys download Liverpool and I have here two different types of data England DSM 1 meter and England DTM 1 meter let's display this one for example DSM 1 meter go here we have two tiles as you can see here I will add them both and then add so here you can just select one and this is my data guys very high resolution one that you can benefit from for your research project
So if you'd like to know the elevation, for example, for some point, let's pick the identify tool here. I will click on this area here, the elevation here, 39 meters. It was here. Now, for this very wide things, it would be high. It's 54 meters. And so on these are buildings. It's clear that we have some buildings here. And this is the difference between the ground and the building. You can, of course, change the color. Okay, guys, so I hope that was useful to you. This kind of spatial data available on Digimap are very useful for your education to improve your understanding of the geospatial data in general and also if you need some kind of data like audience survey maps or LiDAR data, social data, environmental data for your research projects, you can just download them and use them. And don't forget to cite the data that you use. And also, I would like to mention that on Geomatics, channel here you can find different kinds of how to download open source DAMs like Aster DAMs and also SRTM DAMs and ALOS Pulsar DAMs and also TAN DAMX and also you can find some educational resources about surveying and geomatics in general okay guys thank you very much for listening I hope that was useful see you soon